This is Smokin' Jam Grass. I'm Brian. I'm Jolie. And we'd like to share with you the music we love, Progressive Bluegrass and its roots, with new episodes airing the first Sunday of each month from 2 to 3 p.m. right here on KMUZ. You and I headed straight into the West. Welcome to another day in paradise, a super fun show today. We're calling it Salmon Run. Festival! Polyethnic Cajun Slamgrass. It's all leftover salmon today, all show long, including an interview with Salmon's bass player, Greg Garrison. Caught up with him while he was playing with the Mighty Poplar in Portland. Get ready to hear a bunch of songs from Leftover Salmon's new album, just released. It's called Grassroots. And some salmon we've heard live over the years. Yeah, they go all the way back to 1989. They've had many different formations. The two mainstays, of course, are Vince Herman and, yep. and Drew Emmett. Yep. We uh, unfortunately lost Mark Van the Banjo Man in 02 to cancer, but um, they've gone through a bunch of different uh, banjo players and Andy's now out there rocking Andy with the Red Fox. Andy Thorne yep. with, with his Red Fox. Yep. they got a great drummer in Alwyn. Um, Greg Garrison's been in the band since... 2000, and uh, we're, it was just really an honor to get to talk to him. So yeah, we're, we're going to swim upstream in honor of the spring run that's going out in the Columbia and all around Oregon and Alaska. People are splitting lips and pulling out some salmon right now. Including the bears. It's a nice segue into where the salmon played back in 2000. The Bear Tooth Theater and Pub in my hometown of Anchorage, Alaska. You! And now playing in my home in the Willamette Valley where there was a full moon last night. Enjoy the soothing sounds of Drew Emmett's voice. Hang on the line for Greg Garrison, the bass player, coming up in just a couple songs. It's the Salmon Run on Smokin' Jamgrass KMUZ. Thank you. 
Hey, this is Greg Garrison with Leftover Salmon and Mighty Poplar, and you're listening to Smokin' Jamgrass. Am I out there twitching in the kitchen?
Festival on Smokin' Jam Grass here on KMUZ. It's the Salmon Run, the theme of the show. What a, what a classic cover of the uh, Holy Modal Rounders, actually originally from Portland, Euphoria. And before that, we had Stay Away Monday, because our show's on a Sunday. You know, Stay away. The Monday comes too soon. Crystal Ballroom, 329.97. What a fantastic show. And we are so happy last week we got to talk with the bass player of Leftover Salmon. Yeah, Dr. Greg Garrison was kind enough to give us a little time before he came out and played with the Mighty Poplar at the Aladdin Theater in Portland and and uh, talked a little bit about Salmon coming through and playing three shows here in June, and we we're, were really excited to talk to him. Um, we saw you the last time you guys came through at the Rev Hall. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, was Super fun good time. show. Oh, it's the first time I've seen you guys play with Jay Starling. Okay. And just a totally sonic new thing. Like, yeah. it just blew me away, man. Like, yeah, I've Jay, never heard Salmon like that. Jay's an amazing player, and, and just to kind of have the, um, you know, the, the new sound of the pedal steel, I think, mixed in with... You know the keys and and the dobro. I mean, he's yeah, he's fantastic. He's been a great addition. Yeah, so, and yeah. a great singer too. He actually sings one of the tracks on the new record, California nice. Cotton Fields, and uh, cool. yeah, nice, yeah. yeah. And his dad, uh, he's got a famous dad, right? His dad was yeah, John Starling, the um, one of the you know one of the kind of founding members and original lead singer of the Seldom Scene. Seldom Scene, uh-huh. beautiful yes. man. Yes. yes, yes. Just like off the top of my head, like at that show, you had. There was some crazy effect going on, uh-huh. and I was like, "What's the big deep frog noise?" Uh-huh. And I couldn't tell if it was keyboard. I'm like, "It's, it's got to be Greg." You have some kind of crazy pedal <laughs> going on. You... I've got a few of them. I don't oh, remember which one I was, was using there, but... but it was blowing me away. Like, uh-huh. I was like, "What is it?" I couldn't tell if it was a flange or what it was, man. <laughs> That's a good question. It was like no the, frog, the distorted was. frog pedal. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> it's not called that, but I, I, I yeah, you had I some, like to make those strange sounds. You got some good toys, man. Yeah, yeah. Really the, fun. I'm, I'm happier when I have no idea what the sound that is going to come out of it is going to be. Yeah. You know, I just right. tend to kind of twist some knobs and press the button and see what happens. Right the wave. Yeah, the more inappropriate it is, the more fun <laughs> it is. So, you know. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. So we're excited about the show coming up in Bend. Yeah, yes. this is going to wow. be a ton of fun. Yep. Yep. At, uh, what is it, Hayden Homes? I have not been to that. Yes, right. yes. Right. Oh, excellent. Oh, it's a great amphitheater. Is it? Nice. Really nice place, yeah. Okay. And you guys are playing the new venue out in... Um, Oh, geez, it's out by Forest Grove, the new McMiniman. You guys are starting oh, the grand, out. the Grand. The Grand. Yeah. What's it yeah. called? Grand Lodge? Grand, grand Lodge. Lodge. That's going to be a ton right. of fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. really small here. Uh-huh. It's at, we have not been there yet. They just started having shows there. I think it's this is their first year. It is. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, and then the Cuthbert is, is a classic venue, too. Uh-huh. Have you ever been? You guys played there? No, I, I, not since I've been in Salmon, and okay. I've been in it for 23 years. Yeah. So I, don't, I don't know if they did with Horde or something way back in the day. Right, um, right. I, you know, you'd have to ask Vincent Well, cool, so that, three but... new venues for you to play in. Yeah. That's Which awesome, man. Tough on. Exciting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think that three-bill, you know, the three-band package is going to be a lot of fun, too, Yonder and Railroad, and we don't know who's going to be headlining each night, and it's mm. not going to be announced. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I'm sure there'll be lots of jamming with whoever the last cool. band is to kind of host uh, yeah. all the sit-ins and, you know. Yeah, get super our, pick off. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cool, get our man. flowing, That's so it should be a ton fun. of fun. Yeah. And there's just so many different cool um, things happening. Geez, like the 50th anniversary of Telluride. There's yes. so many big events. You guys yep. got a big summer lineup yep. going. Um, how do you manage all these shows, all these different bands, and teach? Uh, I mean, it gets a little tricky, you know, the schedule, uh, the scheduling can, can be a little grueling at times, but I mean, for Mighty Poplar, you know, I'm, I'm just one of many who are balancing and juggling around right. things because Noam and yeah. Chris both teach for something called Artist Works, which is like an online teaching platform that takes a lot of their time and plus Punch Brothers and any of their other projects. And obviously Andrew Marlin balancing his own band, um, Watch House and, yes. uh, you know, and, uh, 
John Mylander. He's go. He's leaving tomorrow to go back on Bruce Hornsby tour. And oh, wow, um, you know, okay. Alex. Uh, Alex is out with Billy String. So getting everybody together was really hard, and that's yes. honestly why right. it took so long to put the record out. Yeah, you know, just to clear the schedule. So for my, you know, for me, it's a. It's like a, I'm happy to throw this into the mix and so yeah. create the schedule. I have a very understanding wife, which is helpful. Oh, yes. nice. And, uh, you know, it's kind of her fault. She's the one who told me that, that, you know, at some point a few years ago, she's like, you should, you need a side project, yeah. you know? And I was like, okay, okay. Are you sure? Yeah. You know, yeah. you've got a couple <laughs> they of kinda, them. Yeah. yeah but, uh, we yeah. haven't done anything with that since Eric Deutsch left. Oh, uh, okay. Salmon. So okay. yeah, that was kind of a, you know, when Eric was around, we would, we would do shows when we could. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we haven't done anything with that in a while. So this is kind of the main. Yeah. The option. rambling man. Yeah. When did, mm-hmm. so how did this come? When did when did this start to form the whole Maybe idea? Twenty nineteen is when yes. we started talking about it. Pre pandemic, yeah, yeah, exactly. And yeah, and, uh, yeah so Noam and I were the first two to kind of you know put our heads together about it, and then cool. Andrew um, was added, and Alex, and and then Chris Eldridge was kind of the final piece of the puzzle. Perfect. And yeah, uh, yeah, so then we got together during the pandemic mm-hmm. um, in October of 2020 and, and recorded the record in Nashville. Nice. I think it's the first time any of us had really like gotten out of our bubbles and oh, wow. yeah. you know did the whole like I drove from Colorado and stopped in St. Louis to get a PCR test and yeah. you know everybody yeah. was testing all the way up until it. And, yes, and, uh, yes. And, but once we got there, it was just kind of like business as usual. And yeah. where'd you guys record? We recorded um, in a little place called the Tractor Shed, which is in Goodlettsville, Tennessee. Okay, so, cool. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Yeah, cool. yeah a guy named Love the Mark, album. A guy named Mark Howard, who used to play fiddle with um, John Hartford. Oh, wow. Um, and so not to be confused with Mark Howard, who's the producer, who's produced like Bob Dylan records. Okay. Like, it's a different Mark Howard. Okay. But he owns a little studio out there that we recorded out. Okay, cool, man. Right. Awesome. And, yet, awesome. and then you have uh, the new album out, the new Salmon album out Yes. Yeah. yeah, that just came out. Uh, That's week. Today, maybe. What's today? The 19th? Uh, no, no today's, today's the 25th. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just so came out like, like, <laughs> okay. You've been what on the road. I've been on the road too long. Yeah, you just dropped like four or five days ago. Yeah, yeah man. It, it, it sounds great. It's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a fun yeah, one. Super stoked. And you guys, yeah, you guys just played in Hawaii. Yep. Yeah. Man. Which was incredible. And hopefully we're going to go back and do something You've been in all over the place, man. We have. Yeah. We're going to Europe for the first time ever with Salmon this year. Oh, wow. Should be great. Oh, wow. Tell us a little more about the new album. Um, the Grassroots is kind of a, I mean, I, you know, I wouldn't call it a cover album necessarily. It's the first album that, that we put out though, that doesn't have any original music on it. So I guess that means it is a cover uh-huh. record, but yeah. right. it's a lot of, um, kind of classic, um, you know, repertoire that, that the band has been playing live for a long time. Um, but then we kind of brought in a couple other tunes and reworked them and just to highlight the, I think some of the artists that inspired not only us, but like kind of the jam grass scene mm-hmm. you know jam grass for lack of a better term but like the grateful dead we cover one of their tunes and yes. yeah. bob dylan and and then jay covers the seldom scene which which is awesome. cool for him he's singing one of his dad's tunes right. and cool. um what else you know just all sorts of stuff on there that was really fun and, and with and, billy strings you've got a song on there yep billy strings is on a couple songs he's on oh. uh, an instrumental Ooh. called nashville skyline rag that's a dylan nice. tune that earl scruggs covered famously and oh, then wow. um he's also on a tune called blue railroad train which was most associated with with doc watson but tony rice cut it at some mm. point and it was written by a group called the delmore brothers like way back in the 20s cool. early country band um and then oliver wood from the wood brothers sings on a tune called fire and brimstone oh nice yeah oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. which yeah. is cool and then um daryl anger an amazing fiddle player and oh, friend of love is, love on, is on love a couple Darryl. tracks as well so oh, yeah. Awesome, man. Huh? yeah what a super man uh, wow and then when, it yeah. seems like you know the way things are going like uh what do you think about arena grass? Arena grass. I mean, man, like I, I, I hope that I hope it continues to grow. You know, I mean, yeah. is that is that amazing? Like to watch. We've been with you guys since the beginning. Like right. we've been seeing you guys and mm-hmm. yonder and just con- over the years. Mm-hmm. Hot it's rise part of our DNA. Back, you know? Part of our DNA at this point. Yeah. So, but now the growth. Yeah, it's, it's just been like incredible. exploded. Yeah, obviously Billy is is kind of the driver behind that, um, you know, which is incredible to see. And I, I mean, you know, it's he's he's just such an inarguable, um, you know, amazing musician and guitar player, and and just has so much charisma. And yeah. um, you know, people have have obviously really um, kind of grabbed onto his approach. I think, yeah. and uh, I was able to see him at the First Bank Center, uh, I guess, a few months ago. I don't remember oh. when they were there, and it mm-hmm. was my first time getting That's to see him one. with like the big light yes. show. And, yes, um, you know, the whole thing with you know eight thousand. 
people or whatever. And it was incredible. I mean, it was really cool to see him doing that. And, yeah. and I love the fact that people are getting into that music. And I also love the fact that he doesn't skimp on the repertoire. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And he really does his best to highlight people like Tony Rice and Doc Watson and yes. get into the cool repertoire. And he's not just pandering, which is awesome. You right. know what I mean? He's right. always giving props, yeah. especially Sam and right. everybody. Yeah. It's sort of a mixed emotion about it. Like, it, it, you kind of lose some intimacy. Right. You know? Yeah, for Did sure. Did you get that feeling when you were there? To an extent, you know, but the show that I saw, he did sit down and, and play by himself for about, you mm. know, 15 minutes at the top cool. of the second set. And that was great. Yeah. yeah. That kind of pulled everybody in. But yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, you lose some of that intimacy because it's like seeing, you know, when you go see Fish or when you go see right. whatever, right. some other big band that, that plays places of that size. Right. Um, you know, it's always a fun experience, but mm-hmm. it's more about like being at the show and the people you're with. And right. yeah, you lose that kind of intimacy of the, the folk side of, of uh, you know, just people picking and, yeah. um, you know, doing the bluegrass the thing. campfire. And, and, and yeah. Town park feel and then right. here's here's the lights the yeah. rig and then the you, sound. but then you've got yeah. vince herman coming along <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> with exactly. his side and bringing that kind of energy yeah. to the oh man he's pretty wow. he's i don't man he's he's a force of nature he's uh yeah. you know i i hope he he keeps doing this forever you know what i mean he's such a guiding light for sam and obviously but i think for the whole scene and, and yeah. you know he's like the spirit of of uh of our little world of, of bluegrass for sure. So mm-hmm. totally. yep. And but he came out with a solo album. He, he did. Everybody's just like, I mean, the, yep. coming out of the pandemic, it seemed like so much beauty, uh, just art is just exploding in every right. genre, every yeah. scene, you know, well, everybody had some time off for the first time in a long time. Mm-hmm. And for musicians, you know, since we're always yeah. on the road and always busy. And I think it was nice for people to take a breath and, and maybe figure out like, what do I want to do? You know, like, how do I make all this stuff work instead of just like, go, 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 take a second and, and right. spend a little time at home. And, um, I know for Vince, part of that process was moving to Nashville yes. and, and kind of catching up and, and meeting a, a new circle of songwriting friends. Right. And right. that kind of fed his fuel to, um, have a huge creative boom. You know, yeah. I mean, he's always been a good songwriter, but he's never like had that time when he just sat down for months and wrote songs and yeah. songs and songs right. and songs, you know, right. went through the process kind of like the, the meat grinder part of writing a song instead of the inspirational part, right? Yes. you know, right. and, right. and uh, yes. which is awesome. And he still has so many more, you know, than, than what he recorded. I mean, oh, really? got, oh yeah, we oh, cool, man. We've got piles of tunes to dig wow. through before we make the next salmon record. Yeah. And, and it's so, hard, it's hard when you know when you're doing 150, 200 shows a year, grinding right. it out. You right. know. Thankfully, we don't do that many. We only do about 60 at this point. Good. Yeah, good. Good. Well, you know, we're all slowing down. We yeah, need our, right. we need our time. We need family time. Well, yeah, exactly. speaking you know? of time, I mean, you guys have been around so long. Like, how do you keep that energy going? I mean, the energy is always there at Sandwich. Right. Yeah. Right. It's just always a good time, a festival. Mm. Yes. It's mighty fine. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, rest. how do you keep that going with that energy? I, I don't know. That's kind of a mystery, to tell you the truth. Uh-huh. I mean, because we can all, you know, we can all get on stage after having... Um, you know, the, the last shows we played, we played in California one evening at the, at a Grateful Dead kind of cover festival and we, mm. you know, made the Stone roses. Yeah. And yes. you know, for whatever, I don't know if it was a good decision or a bad decision, but we decided to cover the whole working man's dead album, yeah. you know, which oh, was yeah. a lot of work for us. <laughs> yeah. Right. And so we played that, then had to go to the airport the next morning, get on a 5am flight, fly to Memphis and play the show there. Right. Yeah. And so we were all burned out and no sleep and super yeah. tired and just yes. like, why are we doing this? But then you get on stage and as soon as the first note hits, you know, and we start playing a tune, it's like that energy just just kind of comes out of nowhere, you know. Yeah, it all comes together right then and there. Yeah, and it makes it worth it. Yeah, it's fueled by Vince. It's fueled by the sound. It's fueled by you know, obviously by all when he's such a great drummer, but just like that, yes, all of us being together and and I think just you know taking pleasure and and that moment of just like playing together. Oh, we love it. We every time we just we just love it. Yeah, I I have to say I'm like Drew's voice. uh, Oh, yeah. It makes my heart flutter. Yeah, nice. she's, she's a big, <laughs> she's a big that. droopy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, we, we loved you all at, uh, at Summit. Did you call her a droopy? A droopy. Oh, oh that's amazing. I, I love drew, it. I, I drew she droopy. just made that up. <laughs> I, I love it. It's it's good. I've never heard that word before. Uh, yeah, well, okay, yeah. inspiration I like it. Droopy. Greg. I like uh-huh. it. <laughs> I like it. And then we were there in San Francisco when the um, Mayor McCheese came in. Okay. At the Independent. At the Independent. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with uh, Jason Carter came out with you guys. Oh, yeah, and he was wearing it on his head, right? Yes. Is that the, oh, God. The mayor's <laughs> Good actually, memory, man. The mayor has actually been... Um, 
in I think Andy Frasco yes. oh. stole it. Yes. I don't know when oh. he did, but he's had it for a while. So we need to um, steal it back. A lot of people have been asking like, <laughs> where's, where's the mayor? reconnaissance? <laughs> oh yeah, Andy's. Pat. I think we might. I think we might have to do a little recon coming soon. I like soon. that. Yeah. We get some I like heads that. This time. Pull it off. It's Very time to get cool. the mayor. Yes. It's time to get the mayor back. Yeah. Sure. Well, thank you so much for your time. I know you got a gig, man. Yeah, man. This yeah. Is really. Thank yeah. you very thank much. Thank you so much. Boy, I'll tell you, it, it's always fun watching Leftover Salmon, and it was especially fun talking with Greg Garrison, especially since he was just about to play a show. Yeah, what a professional, man. He was just the kindest guy, really smart, awesome, wicked bass player. Well, since we talked about it so much in the new album called Grassroots, I think it's time for us to play a few of the songs from that album in no particular order. We're kicking off this Salmon Run with uh, Vince Herman doing Simple Twist of Fate the Bob Dylan tune. Not bad, mighty fine, in fact. Mighty fine. This here is the Salmon Run. It's on Smokin' Jamgrass on KMUZ. They sat together in the park As the evening sky grew dark She looked at him and felt a spark tingle to his bones Cause then he fell alone And wished that he'd gone straight Watched out for a simple twist of fate He walked along by the old canal A little confused, I remember well Stopped into a strange hotel with a neon burning bright Felt the heat of the night It hit him like a freight train Moving with a simple twist to fade Some place far off play As she was walking by the arcade As a light burst through a beat of shade Where he was waking up She dropped the coin in the cup Of a blind man at the gate And forgot about a simple twist of fate He woke up and the room was bare He didn't see her anywhere Told himself that he didn't care And he pushed the window open wide Felt an emptiness inside To which he just could not relate and Brought on by a simple twist of fate By the waterfront docks Where the sailors all come in Maybe she'll pick him out again But how long must he wait One more time For a simple twist to fade
People tell me it's a sin to know and feel too much within. I still believe she was my twin, but I lost the ring. She was born in spring, and I was born too late to blame it on a simple twist of fate. And I was born too late to blame it on a simple twist of fate.
talking jam grass on KMUZ. It's the new leftover salmon album. We're playing some songs off it. It is called Grassroots. That was Nashville Skyline Rag, a Dylan song covered by Earl Scruggs and now covered and uh, recorded by Leftover Salmon. Uh, and also Billy Strings is on that track, as well as the track prior to that, Blue Railroad Train, a Delmore Brothers song. And that was like uh, Greg Garrison was saying, covered by Doc and uh, Tony Rice. This is the Salmon Run on Smoke and Jam Grass. Up next, we got a Merle Haggard uh, standard California Cotton Fields, which was covered by Graham Parsons as well. <laughs> As seldom seen, which uh, Jay Starling is is covering, just like his dad was doing with seldom seen back in the '60s. Nice, John Starling. So nice. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. We got some new leftover salmon just in time for the salmon run on KMUZ. Smoking jam grass. <laughs> My drifting memory goes back to the spring of 43 When I was just a child in the mama's arms And daddy plowed the ground and prayed that one day he might leave This run-down mortgage Oklahoma farm And then one day I heard my daddy saying to my mama That he had finally saved enough to go Cause California was his dream A paradise that he had seen Pictures in a magazine that told him so California cotton fields Where labor camps are filled with Worried men with broken dreams California cotton fields As close to wealth as daddy ever came Everything we had was sold or left behind From daddy's plow to the fruit that mama came Some folks came to say farewell To see what all we had to sell Some just came to shake my daddy's hand Well, the Model A was loaded down in California bound A change of love was just four days away But the only change I remember seeing in my daddy when his dark hair turns silver gray California cotton fields When labor camps were filled with Worried men with broken dreams California cotton fields As close to wealth as daddy ever came change I remember seeing in my daddy was when his dark hair turned silver gray. California cotton fields, where labor camps are filled with worried men with broken dreams. California cotton fields, as close to wealth as daddy ever came. Turn red and swell With the clothes stuck to the seat And to our bodies 
It was a stinking summer trip through southern hell. He did carbonated crap, turn it up inside. Gas soaked service station jobs and meat right. Hey, this is Greg Garrison with Leftover Salmon and Mighty Poplar, and you're listening to Smokin' Jamgrass. My lost railroad track in the cold northern city, I'm so lonesome looking for a friend. Try to get southern train, ride somewhere special, picked up on the L&L. I'll ride, 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 Run, 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 run. 
Smoking Jam Grass on KMUZ. We got our Salmon Run special running upstream. Woo. Spring Run is on. We just heard uh, off their new album, a uh, cover of David Bromberg's classic, released originally in 1974, The New Lee Highway Blues, with special guest star Daryl Daryl uh, Anger, <laughs> one of our favorites. That's right. Yeah, we're stoked. We got Leftover Salmon coming through Oregon with uh, three shows in the state, uh, along with Railroad Earth and Yonder Mountain String Band. Lucky Oregon, three different dates, three different places, including the McMinniman's Grand Lodge on June 22nd, um, Friday, June 23rd, at the Cuthbert Amphitheater, the beautiful amphitheater of Eugene. Love you. It's where we met. Um, And then also the Hayden Holmes Amphitheater in Bend. Yonder, the river. You know, I really love how Greg Garrison told us that it's a flip of the coin. Which band is going first, Yonder, Railroad, or Salmon? It's going to be a big old pick-off. You know they're all going to get on stage. You know it's going to be a big old pick-off. It's going to be a hootin', Andy. So those five songs that we played from Leftover Salmon's brand new album, Grassroots, uh, yeah. you can pick it up today on your favorite whatever music place you get music. Stream it. Um... We're going to go back in time again now. To close out the show, we've got a couple of tunes, classic ones that we've heard at uh, Leftover Salmon live shows over the years. This one in particular is going out to our friends Silver Steve and Chris. It is their song. Yeah, good old Taj Mahal cover. From 2001 at the Gypsy Tea Room, Love It In My Baby's Eyes. It's the Salmon Run on Smokin' Jam Grass, KMUZ. Want to be your man Love it darling and I know I do Anything in the world For you to have a loving in my baby's eyes I see the loving in my baby's eyes I see the loving in my baby's eyes I see the loving in my baby's eyes And love it all and I know I can I be the one to be your man And love it darling and I know I do Anything in the world for you to have a loving in my baby's eyes. I see the loving in my baby's eyes. I see the loving in my baby's eyes. The loving in my baby's eyes. Baby's eyes, loving in my baby's eyes. 
see loving in my baby's eyes, loving in my baby. Smoking jam grass on KMUZ, ending off our salmon run today with a John Hartford tune covered by Leftover Salmon, Up on the Hill Where They Do the Boogie. That was at the Wild Duck in Eugene in 2000, January of 2000. What a wild time at the Wild Duck.
Yeah, that's a big old hoot nanny thrown on by none other than the Silver People Productions back in the day. Ah, yes. Mm, Thank you, Silver People. Fun times. Thank you, Tapers. Thank you, Leftover Salmon. And big thanks to Dr. Greg Garrison for his time and and, and interviewing with us on our little old show here on KMUZ. And we hope that we see you at one of these shows, Leftover Salmon, Railroad Earth, and Yonder coming through uh, later in the month. Keep on swimming up that stream, and until next time, much, much love. love. You and I, and it's straight into the west. Sun is rising behind, we're headed straight into the darkness. And it's been so long since I've seen.